I'm Nancy Cordes. Welcome to First Look and welcome to a very warm, very humid New York City where the heat index today is right about 100 degrees while I'm doing this report. If you're watching this, that probably means you're inside, which is a good choice on a day like today where it's so warm in so many places around the country. And if you're one of the 60% of people in the world who lives in a city, yes, it is true. Where you live is most likely hotter than if you just go a couple dozen miles outside of the city. That's because of a phenomenon that scientists call the urban heat island effect. And that's where cities, because of all the buildings and all those tar roofs and all the cars that are going by spewing pollution, actually create more heat in the city than right outside of it. In some cities, it's actually quite pronounced. Here in New York, for example, it can be up to 10 degrees hotter in the city than outside of it. And of course, this has some health implications, especially for people who don't have air conditioners. It can be quite a dangerous situation. So tonight on the CBS Evening News, we're going to show you how these heat islands form, how bad it can get. And we're also going to show you some innovative ways that cities around the country and people around the country are working to reduce those heat islands. That's coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. Stay cool.